Steve Donahue is an international speaker, a best-selling author and documentary filmmaker. That was a mob scene. I've never seen anything like it in my life. He is one of the world's leading authorities on using narrative intelligence to transform workplace culture. The story you're in creates your reality and you play your role to perfection. He's spoken to over 1,000 organizations on four continents. And it's very hard to live your life trying to make everyone else happy. Without further ado, Steve Donahue. Employees want more than a job. They want to be part of a story. And the best story to be in is an epic story. Online video games, movies, professional sports generate $1 trillion a year in revenue because their businesses are based on epic stories. And we are now seeing companies using these story structures to build an amazing workplace that thrives on change. I loved it. Outstanding. Awesome motivational speaker. It's fun. Every epic story has five key components, and the more of these five components you build into your story, your culture, the more epic you will be. The more people will be willing to change because an epic story is a story of change. These are the four largest public accounting firms in the world. And now typically KPMG is fourth. A few years ago they thought to themselves, we want to change our culture. We want new results. And they started to tell themselves an epic story. They went from fourth to first ranked accounting firm in America in one year because they started to tell an epic story about themselves. If accountants can be epic, so can you. It was just very engaging. It's got style, and I thought it was awesome. I feel like he is talking right at me most of the times, or right to me. He touches your heart. He touches people's hearts, and he makes you feel that you're on a journey with him. I like how he uses the drums to make it more dramatic. The music and the, you know, the beat increasing. We get near the edge of the steep slope. It crumbles suddenly much sooner than we expected and we begin to tumble and we realize that in fact our worst fears are true. There are eight, nine, maybe ten nomads all in a circle waiting for us. It really is an ambush, one of them brandishing a huge knife. Highly engaging. You couldn't help but listen, your mind never wanders. He gets people out and involved and helps them get out of their comfort zone. I like how he engages everybody, he gets them pumped. How long is being in love, typically? How long does that last? 30 years. Would you mind sharing with all of us here the name of your medication? <laughs> I laughed till tears came to my eyes. How many of you have ever worked with someone you absolutely could not stand? Sure. How many of you did not raise your hand because that person's sitting next to you? So what happened to Speaker? She says, oh, you cannot put Speaker on a business card in Korea. It's against the rules. It's just that Speaker's not considered a job in Korea. I said, why is it not a job? She said, Speaker's not a job because everyone can speak. <laughs> It's like calling yourself breather or eater. This is going to help me too, to help change the culture. He's got a big story, but he's able to tell you how to make that epic story, and breaking those five components down and really making you feel good about what you do. I realize that my story is much bigger than me, and so is yours. What you do is epic. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Your job now is to turn it into a story, to be on a quest, and continue to stand at the front of that line that says, I'm making a difference in this world. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you.